Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I wanna to talk to you about some of my favorite or my go-to solar panels, okay? So, uh, first off, the first one here is an Aptos DNA Bifacial 370 watt model right here. And then this one right here is the Trina Vertex 385 watt bifacial panel. So both of them are bifacial. Both of them are close to the same size. The Trina Vertex is maybe about two, two and a quarter, maybe, uh, uh, wider and just a hair taller, but they're pretty much, you know, in the same class, right? Like I said, they're both bifacial. They're both right around 37, 385 watts. Uh, but the Trina, like I said, is maybe about 15 watts, you know, more, but it is also a little bit larger, okay? But the point is, if you look at them, they're very similar in how they perform, at least on paper, which so we're gonna find out if they really perform very well together. But also, they're some of my favorite, mainly because the cost to performance ratio, okay? So what does that mean? This Aptos panel, I think right now is on sale or whatnot at uh, Signature Solar, which is where we got it from, about $104-ish per panel, I think. Um, and that comes out to roughly around uh, 28 cents per a watt or something like that. So like I said, that one's really good. The Vertex, I think I got from uh, Bean Brothers and it was, I wanna say closer to about 140. So it's about $36 more expensive. So it is a little bit bigger. Um, and then I did not get the offer. I think it was for like free shipping and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit more. But since I have, you know, many of those that we go ahead and check these two out today, mainly because if you're looking at them, you may, you know, probably be looking between these two, right? Uh, there is the other models for the Aptos panels, right? They have the 370, they have the 400, I believe, and also the 440. Uh, the 400 is a little bit larger than the 370, obviously, right? That one may or may not be closer to the Vertex 385, but but today's episode, we're gonna be comparing these two. So let's get to it. So here's the two panels. This right here is the Aptos DNA panel and this right here is the Trina Vertex panel. Uh, we're looking at the backside right now. You'll probably see the front side when we you know, do the test or whatnot, but we thought we'd look at the backside because the backside is a little bit interesting, okay? So on the Aptos panel, it'll look like the cells are spaced further apart, right? Because you can see that this black line here is a little bit thicker, but on the backside of the Trina panel, they'll look very close together. And I'll tell you right now, that is not the case. When you look at them from the front, the cells are spaced pretty much, you know, the same width apart, okay? But for some reason, on the back side of the Aptos panels, they have like a, like some type of insulation or secure, securement layer that's on the back side that makes it look like that. Uh, but on the Trina, it doesn't have that, okay? So the interesting thing about that is that the Aptos panel, I think, boasts a higher bifacial gain with the backside exposed than the Trina, even though there seems to be less surface area of the cell exposed, right? So that's something I wanted to point out. Um, it'll look like it has, you know, obviously if you do the mathematical math and figure all this out, there will obviously be, you know, less exposed here uh, than this, right? So that's something interesting to point out. Other than that, there's really no frills or throws going on on the backside of these panels. Uh, both of them have the same type of build quality. As you can see, they're almost the same height, but technically uh, one is just a little bit uh, taller than the other. It just looks that they're same height mainly because, you know, it's just leaned backwards. But the other thing to point out, because it's something I thought about, is that the lip on here are, are about, uh, not big enough to mount uh, optimizers on the top lip, okay? So if you're gonna mount optimizers on these panels, you'll probably have to mount them on the side unless you somehow place the panels on the, you know, landscape mode. Cause the lip on here is maybe about, let's say maybe three eighths of an inch and here you got maybe an eighth of an inch lip here, right? So that's about as far as that goes. So optimizer wise, you have to mount them there. Other than that, you know, the panels are very close to the same. The Trina has maybe one MC4 connector. That is just a pain to get off. The first panel we're gonna be looking at here, it's a uh, Trina Vertex panel. And this is a bifacial 385 watt panel. And Trina warranties this product for about 25 years. And somewhere on here, they say somewhere around, uh, it has the lowest degradation of any panel. Uh, so they are warranting somewhere around like 2%. Uh, degradation for this panel in the first year. If you can somehow prove that and get warrantied, all that stuff, 
great good for you right uh the most important thing is that all of these panels are you know definitely sold in the u.s and in order to do that you're going to need to meet all these certifications right so uh, all the panels we're going to be talking about are certified you know and you all listed and all of that good stuff here so uh talking quickly about this panel it's a 385 watt panel it has a maximum open circuit voltage of around 40.6 and the short circuit voltage of around 12.07 okay and as you mentioned earlier uh there are uh, you know warranting this thing for about two percent uh, degradation on the first year but the whole panel has a 25 year warranty okay this panel weighs a whopping 46.3 pounds and has pretty much all the documentation you would need to try to figure out if you're going to mount it how much power it produces all of that good stuff okay the one thing that i didn't see on uh this data sheet was mainly around how much uh bifacial gain is achieved uh, by it being bifacial but what they say is that it produces somewhere around maximum of up to 405 watts okay so i purchased this panel uh from this company called uh, bean brothers and, and and just a quick shout out to them mainly because i had a good experience with them but i will say i have had no a relationship or a sponsorship or anything like that in any way with this company um, I just kind of came across this company I think it was on some type of post somebody referred to it and then you know I've placed a few orders with this company but like I said not affiliated in any way and they did not give me any discount or anything like that for this video they didn't even know we were making videos okay so the point is uh, I ordered these panels from Bean Brothers I we ordered a lot of these panels so we got some kind of bulk pricing I'm pretty sure I did not pay anywhere near 175 bucks uh, it I do think it was much less than that but we, like I said we did order a lot of these panels so uh, just a quick uh, quick uh, note about Bean Brothers. Um, I do believe they're based out of Texas. Um, at least all the times that we've dealt with them, they seem to be in Texas. Um, and we've had a lot of a good experience with this company. And like I said, I'm not trying to just point this out, but usually uh, I do want to point out when you have good experiences or bad experiences. But the main reason I'm pointing out good experiences is that um, if people have questioning if you can use this company to get quality service and good panels and you know they stand behind you know their their sale then that's something that I can definitely assure you that I've personally experienced okay so uh, on one of the shipments we've had two broken panels um, I sent them an email pictures all that stuff they were quickly to respond and they offered a few options on how to proceed you know replacement refund but all the stuff what I personally decided to do was just get a refund on the two panels mainly because you know shipping it back dealing with all that stuff and them shipping two panels just seemed like ridiculous especially with the freight cost and all that stuff you'd have to get which means i'd have to buy another you know huge uh order to get those other panels it would just be stupid right so the point is um they give you a few options and are able to work with you but like i said um this these panels i think i paid maybe somewhere close to about a hundred and i want to say around 40 ish dollars maybe i want to say um but like i said we did buy bulk panels so that's something that you could ask them for quotes like bulk pricing so that's something i would definitely do okay the second uh panel we're looking at is this aptos panel and this is the dna 120 by facial uh, panel the model we have today is a 370 uh, watt panel and according to the marketing they say produce up to 30 percent uh, more energy with this bifacial panel right uh, this aptos panel is warranty for 30 years versus the 25 years um, on the trina panels and they have a different performance and linear performance uh, warranty and all of this stuff pointed out but like i said this panel is also certified with the certification required to be able to sell this in the u.s okay so going over quickly uh this panel <clears throat> 375 watt panel has an efficiency of about 20.28 uh, most of the solar modules these days are going to have about that uh, range no super groundbreaking uh, discovery has been made where you know they just magically become 50 80 90 percent that's just crazy right now unheard of I'm sure some people are working on it but we haven't seen it in the market yet 40.4 open circuit voltage and short circuit voltage of run 11.26 um, and this obviously has a maximum system voltage of around 1500 per string okay uh, the Trina one also has a high I think it may have been um, 11 or 1500 uh, but I'm usually not pointing these out because most of the people building these I want to say small to medium size arrays 
are using these all-in-one type of inverters and those inverters usually only go up to maybe 450 maybe 500 on some of them um, so you know you're obviously not going to max out the string on using those items or using those controllers okay so uh, the other thing I want to point out here is that this panel weighs 42.3 pounds, which is a little bit lighter, and they have a bifacial gain output, right? So the 375 watt panel with, you know, 10% bifacial gain is about 407 watts. But if you get the 15% because you mount it properly and in like, you know, perfect conditions, you can get up to about 425 watts, okay? So I personally bought these panels from a company called Signature Solar. Um, I've placed a lot of orders with them and we've ordered parts uh components uh inverse everything from this a uh, company uh, i i do want to say that you know i personally have good experience with them i know that some people may or may not have uh the shipping you know is usually pretty quick um and then i will say uh i'll throw some links up and they will be affiliate links into their affiliate marketing program but they did not give me these products or anything like that for free it's you know uh, a link that just referred you to their website to buy something right that may be something that helps out but the point is um that i personally bought all of these panels with the my own monies and this uh 375 watt panel is no longer listed on their website i'm not sure what the deal with that is um, I, I don't know if they've been discontinued or maybe there's, there's too high in demand so they're just not listing it anymore because they don't want people ordering stuff they don't have. Who knows, right? So uh, the point is that I personally order a lot from uh, this company. I uh, haven't had any issues with them. Um, and I will go ahead and say uh, if you do, uh, this comes up again, maybe we'll throw a note up that I bought these panels for, I want to say, close to about 104 bucks. Uh, so that comes out to roughly around 28 cents per watt. $104 per panel is a lot less than maybe about 140 here because that's roughly about, let's just say, 36 to 40 bucks, right? Lesser than uh, the Trina panels. But I also did buy a lot and I bought enough in that order to get free shipping, okay? Uh, so I believe like free shipping, uh, the time I bought it, they had a promotion. You had to buy something i think it was like over two thousand dollars something like that to give free shipping so if you think about the cost uh ordering from signature solar seemed to be a better deal for me if you can get the free shipping uh tied in right so sometimes you may find um uh, products and things you can buy at other retailers or authorized retailers um that may seem better but once you factor in the shipping cost it doesn't actually get that great right so something to think about anyways point is uh, if it comes back up, up here we'll throw it out but like i said it's roughly about 104 bucks per panel and that i believe is probably the single best uh, pricing for a bifacial, you know, uh, name branded solar panel that you could really get that seems to have a proven track record. OK, so when I say proven track record, this company seems to have been out for a while. Uh, I don't have a lot of Aptos items and this is my first Aptos panel. But if you look around, a lot of people have these panels. OK, so. Like I said, do these panels, you know, work the same? Are they about the same in performance? Are they worth it? We're going to hook uh, one of these panels, each of these panels to uh, each uh, Delta 2s, EcoFlow Delta 2s. And we're going to see, you know, are we going to get the same uh, uh, performance or same uh, uh, solar energy generation out of them, right? All right, you guys, so we got two solar panels set up here. This one right here is a Trina Vertex, and this one right here is the Aptos. Uh, they're both set up at the best position I could get them to and about pretty much as normalized I could get them to. As you can see, they're both fully illuminated, and they're pretty much set to exactly the same angle, okay? One is just a hair bigger than the other one, so you can't get it 100% the same, but the angle are set to be exact the same, and they're both bifacial panels, you know, so they're both getting the same amount roughly from a backlight. So let's go check the performance on these because they're both linked to two independent Delta twos right now. Okay, and they started at the same state of charge when I started filming this video and these things fill up pretty quick, right? So this one right here on the right is linked to the uh, Trina right here, right behind it. And then this one right here is linked to the Aptos, right? Let's go take a look. This Aptos one right now is saying it's bringing in roughly about 247 232, uh, 227. It's been ranging anywhere up to maybe about just a hair over 300. This one right here is also 
ranging up to about 350 I think I saw earlier max right so as you can see right now if I can get rid of this glare all right you can kind of see that right now it's at 287 290 something so you can see it just fluctuates a little bit bring the screen back right now it's about 250 258 267 but this one is right around 226 233 242 295 303 you can kind of see right there if we can get rid of the glare as much as possible you'll see 292 293 285 this one right here is about 254 like i said they both started uh, close to the same state of charge but this one is definitely charging up just a hair faster and it does seem to be pulling just a few extra watts even though they're close to the same but like i said they're pretty much exactly the same as you can see right here 299 300 297 300 right there look at that they're pretty much almost exactly the same type of panel uh, they seem to be performing the same i don't can't say for shaded performance but in terms of full lit performance 311 298, 298, 298, right? This one is about 314, 310, still 297, right? So uh, they're gonna be pretty much the same. They're both hooked up directly without any optimizers or anything like that, just a direct connection using the EcoFlow cables. So right now you can see they're pretty much close to being exactly the same. All right, so what do I think about these panels, okay? So the panels are obviously very similar. They perform very much the same. One may argue, since the one plugged into the Trina uh, charged up a little bit faster, and then, you know, some parts of the timeline look like it had a higher uh, performance, right? Some may argue the Trina is just a little bit better, but in my argument, they're pretty much in the same class, and you're talking about, you know, very close to the same panel, okay? Uh, I think we missed it on the documentation or stage earlier, but both of these panels our uh, maximum system voltage or you know maximum voltage for a single series string is about 1500 volts so that's a lot of panels in series okay uh, the other thing to point out is that both of these panels are actually made in vietnam one of them i think the trina one says assembled in vietnam whereas the aptos one says made in vietnam so uh, the point is they're both from vietnam okay so the uh, other than that there's not too much of a real difference okay but like i said which one would i go and buy again Right now, I would say if I could buy the Aptos 370, I would definitely go out and buy those again because they are, for me at least, uh, you know, on the sale that I was able to, uh, and the bulk pricing I was able to get, seems to be just a little bit cheaper, right? So maybe about 34, 36 bucks cheaper. Uh, but for some reason, Signature Solar doesn't have them for sale anymore. And we're gonna have to contact them and see, you know, what's the deal with that? Hopefully they keep selling those because I feel like they're a very popular panel, especially coming in at like, Point, uh, 28 cents of water or something like that seems to be probably the very uh, good performer for its size, weight, and you know, where are you gonna get them from? So, uh, but if you can get the Trina Vertex one for a lower price, you should obviously get that, right? So what, which one would I buy? I would just buy whichever one is the best deal for me in the ones I could get, right? Because not all of them are always gonna be in stock, especially right now because the demand for solar panels seems to be high. Why are they so high? You know, I'm not exactly sure. We can speculate and I can speculate. Maybe the tariffs are gonna go up so people are buying them or maybe people are trying to become an energy independent so people are buying them. Or maybe because we're in summer and everybody's so hot, they're trying to find a way to reduce their energy bills, right? Who in the world knows, okay? Maybe it's some combination of all that combined, right? But as I mentioned earlier, I did buy both of these or all the panels that we have with our own monies uh, and I wouldn't hesitate on buying either one of these panels again, but I would probably lean towards mainly the Aptos, mainly because, you know, the price per watt performance, right? Each one of these panels can charge up like portable power stations really fast and we have installed them at other people's locations, right? So that's something I think about. I'll stop jibber jabbering. Anyways, hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let them know. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.